Okay, so what I've done is I've bought this life V battery. Okay, for my Tornigi transmitter. And what I've done is I've cut the end off and I've soldered the end or well, this end here that, that actually fits into the transmitter and I've left this one as it is because we're going to use that for balance charging so what we need to do to configure the um, the charger I'll just sort of flick you through it so what you notice is as you go through press the type see it says lipo nickel metal NICAD and lead acid okay so what we'll do is we'll go to the user section and we'll go into that We're pressing start now we press uh, the start button again to go into the voltage and we play around with that voltage and what we'll do is we'll select 3.3 volts which represents a life e cell so I'll press start to accept that now we'll press stop and we'll get out of that program altogether so now once we start cycling oh sorry through using the type button you'll see that life comes up so again everything else is there the nickel metal NICAD lead um, but instead of the lipo the life comes up uh, you know it'd be easier if both come up but they don't so what I'll do now is just select that and select um, lifey balance by using the status icons now when I'm in that I'll press start and I'll select the charge rate now I, don't, I normally don't like going over 1C so if it's an 1800 battery I'll charge it at 1.8 you press enter again and it's a 3 cell battery so just select 9.9 .9. Okay, now we can't press start yet. We've got to connect the battery up. So I'll just show you how to do that. Okay. So what we need to do is we plug this port here, the one with the four wires in it, into the side of the unit. Okay, and it goes into, into the side there. Okay, but what I've done is I've just put an extension. Okay, you can buy these hobby king so we'll plug that in there okay now the AccuCell 6 charger basically comes with this and it comes with that now what you're going to need to do is build your own your own adapter so I've, I've, in, I've made an adapter with all these different connectors on it you can see the Dean's plug there and like a servo type of connector and that type of connector. I've also got this little thing, it's like an add-on I've made to charge you know the 9 volt type of connectors and all kinds of things but this is the one that we need to use here and it's just basically two prongs okay and I'll plug that into here I know it's a little bit complicated um, that plugs into there and I'm sure whatever you make is going to be 10 times better than this but basically all we need to do then is plug the red and black wires in and just get them around the right way okay and that's it so that battery is basically ready to charge now so all I've got to do is press start okay hold down the start and it's checking it says yes uh, we've selected three cell battery it actually is a three cell battery press enter again and that starts charging you can see it's charging at 1.8 right and if we press status now what it does it shows us the individual cell voltages so it's 3.5 3.5 3.55 so what it will do, once, because we've got it on the balance setting, it's going to try to get all of those um, to an even level. It looks like they'll probably settle down on 3.6 because this battery was fairly uh, well charged anyway. Okay, so once it's done that, it'll stop and uh, it'll be ready to go and plug into the transmitter.
if you leave your batteries charging basically use one of these bags so that if there ever was a fire that the bag will contain it it's a Kevlar bag so make sure you've obviously got all your your wiring the right way around and all that sort of jazz you don't want to blow anything up here so that should fit nicely in there it's actually a little bit tight right but it tight is it's kind of good that it's tight um, it's not as tight as the double A pack that's for sure and the double A's are really hard to get in there so there's a little bit of room just to curl that wiring up and just get the back end back plate on there and it goes on a lot easier trust me so we'll switch that on and you can see there we've uh, we've actually installed the open 9x firmware on this um, what I've done is I've actually put the connector on the back here and I flashed it using a program called companion 9x and I've selected the open 9x firmware and that gives you a whole lot more flexibility um, anyway so so that's it that's how you charge the the lifey battery okay